Hello everybody, Dan Babis here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. All right, guys, so let's get into it. Today we have a story for you about Jasmine Pineda from Panama and her American boyfriend, Gino Palazzolo. They are now engaged in Panama. And on this week's episode of 90 Day Fiance, before the 90 days, we're going to see the two of them come back to Panama City after they went on a trip, I forget exactly where they went, in the countryside of Panama, nice and beautiful and relaxing trip for the two of them. They're going to come back to Panama City, and this is where we're going to see um, a new angle play out, which is that Gino is going to be paying for Jasmine's Panama City apartment. He's going to be paying $700 a month for it. And so this raises a few questions. First of all, we know based on the first few episodes that Gino didn't even want to buy himself any clothes when he first came to Panama because he says that he's not working and has no money. All of a sudden, they went on a few trip, pretty, um, I would say pretty high class, pretty exclusive uh, resorts that they were staying at, in my opinion. And now he's going to be paying $700 a month for Jasmine's apartment. Seems a little weird to me. So let's take a look at this piece right here and we will see what uh, Gino has to say about uh, the apartment. We're also going to take a look at some other things in this video. We're also going to look at some of the previous accusations um, Jasmine had against Gino's ex or Gino's sugar baby and Lindsay Ryder's response to that because this kind of was the topic of the last video that we did and a lot of people had questions saying that um jasmine on the show only said that she could get fired and that she didn't get fired but that's not what jasmine said on the internet so in my last video i was talking about specifically what jasmine came on the internet and said she clearly said that she got fired and it was a result of the picture sent by lindsay Ryder. Uh, pictures uh, that, by the way, are, uh, Lindsay Ryder disputes ever sending to uh, anybody uh, outside of, I guess, just the interaction they had on the show. So we're going to take a look at that in a second. But first, I want to bring you this piece right here from Screen Rant. And um, yeah, there you go, guys. Gino regrets paying for Jasmine's expensive apartment. So although Gino is unemployed after being laid off from his job, Due to COVID-19, the 90 Day Fiance star will be paying for Jasmine's pricey Panama home. So the uh, before the 90 Day star, Gino Palazzolo, uh, will be paying for their apartment in Panama City, and he already seems to be regretting it. Gino 51 met Jasmine 34 online and soon started supporting her financially. While Jasmine had seemingly lost her job during COVID-19, Gino was laid off as well, but it didn't stop him from footing her hair, teeth, and cosmetic treatment uh, treatment bills. Gino's family felt skeptical of her intentions with the money being involved, and he himself thought she saw him as a walking cash machine. However, Gino, who recently got engaged to Jasmine, wants her to live comfortably until he comes to America, or she comes to America on her K-1 visa. So when Jasmine was first introduced to 90 Day Fiance, fans thought of her as a gold digger. She proved them right when she wanted Gino to spend his money on useless clothes or expected a pricey Christmas gift from him. She finally ended up demanding a $2,500 trip to San Jose from Gino after bringing up his past where he treated other women to expensive vacations. So Jasmine, who has an issue with Gino spending money on his other sugar babies, was kind of demanding similar things from him. And he's, uh, she says, I'm not worthy as they were. Uh, were. And um, despite knowing about his low bank balance. However, when Jasmine found out that Gino was actually in sugar daddy, sugar baby arrangements in the past, she declared that she wants him to be her own sugar daddy. So there you go. And this, I guess, is going to play out because he's going to be footing her bill of her apartment. So Gino is someone who wants the best for his future wife, so he willingly agreed to help Jasmine out when she ran into some trouble with her roommate, according to a preview clip shared by 90 Day Fiance on YouTube. 
I watched that clip, by the way, guys. So that that's really what happened. They just come back to the apartment and they just uh, basically drop some information that Gino's going to be paying 700, I'm guessing US dollars a month for Jasmine's uh, apartment in Panama. And by the way, somebody did leave a comment on uh, YouTube that we're going to take a look at in just a second. So let's just go down here. So it's a temporary thing, but the K-1 process could take a long time, he says in the clip. So I'm a little worried about that. Gino shared with 90 Day Fiance producers. Meanwhile, Jasmine, while conveying her thanks to Gino, blurred out that $700 might not be a lot for him, but it is for her. By the way, wasn't Jasmine making $3,000 a month? If you're making $3,000 a month, well, you know, she doesn't have her job anymore. You know, she said online she was fired. In this article, you can see that at the beginning, it says that she was let go because of COVID-19. So, you know, I'm not sure if Jasmine really got her story straight because I don't think she ever fully mentioned it in the actual show why she doesn't work. She said it online. She said she got fired, but she's never really given much more information than that. So... It's unclear if it's just a plot point on the internet to create drama to make it seem like she got fired based on those pictures. Uh, it's unclear if that's true or if that's just put out there to create drama because on the show she just doesn't really say that she got fired as a result of those pictures. So they kind of go uh, back and forth about this and Jasmine calls him cheap uh, and accuses him of not wanting to spend money on, um, you know on her basically and uh also this comes out in um in a preview there's a chance that gino thinks jasmine is a gold digger who's only with him for his money in a green car which is why he acts so stingy when it comes to her after all she is someone who yelled at him for spending on sugar babies and is now expecting him to pay for her apartment and if jasmine does earn three thousand dollars a month as she blurted out during a previous episode why isn't she willing to shell out a seven hundred dollars for her own needs so like I said, the reason for that is because she's not working at the present time, at least when they were filming this. So I just wanted to bring you guys this comment right here. So this is a comment on the actual clip on YouTube, uh, on uh, 90 Day Fiance's clip, uh, preview clip. And this is from a person that says this. So this is just a comment on YouTube. We take this with a grain of salt, but we have seen other similar comments being made about jasmine and how she is potentially lying about different things that she's saying on the show so this person says i'm a jamaican living in panama for the past 10 years and jasmine is a liar you can get that same apartment for 350 dollars a month with two bedrooms i've also seen three bedrooms and two baths for 500 dollars in the same area that she is at p.s i do think she deserves the best, but $700 is too much. And I really think she's doing too much because he is from America. She probably has that mindset that thinks that all Americans are rich. So there you have it, guys. A person kind of poking some holes in Jasmine's story. Now, of course, prices can vary. So to be fair to Jasmine, perhaps this is a completely furnished apartment perhaps it's just in a slightly better location than some of the others and and so on and so forth but you would think that if there was a 350 dollars apartment in the area and considering that neither of these two people are working at as, as of the pre present time now by the way it's not clear like i said it's not clear if jasmine is or isn't working although she said at the beginning that she wasn't and during the show, she said that she could get fired based on those pictures, but never said that she was. Although, like I said, on the internet, she did. And we will address that in a second. So you would think that if there was an apartment that was cheaper, that it would have made more logical sense for Gino and Jasmine to go that route. And they didn't. And this just makes me question this whole angle, just how legit it is. They, they went on an expensive vacation. Now, Gino's going to be paying for her apartment. Are these people just full of lies? Because this doesn't make any sense to me why he would pay, especially if there are other apartments in the area. You don't need the best when you're not working. Just my opinion. So I think it just, there, there, there's some holes in that story for sure. 
Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is because, like I said, people had questions about this. So I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see it nice and clear because I had a lot of questions about this in the previous video I did about these two. So this comes from TV Season Spoilers. And they screenshotted what Jasmine had said uh, about the month, about a month and a, and a half ago. So she says, this is the situation. Gino's ex has sent my private, private pictures to bloggers. Pictures that have been used to create stories in multiple videos. She sent them to my job, which I lost as well. At this moment, I just want to literally die. I have no words to describe the lowest point in my life right now. So she clearly says, let's read this together one more time. Because like I said, I got a lot of questions. So I just want to make sure that uh, we get this very clear. She sent them to my job which I lost as well. Now, what I see here, I see a clear cause and effect relationship. She sent them to my job. I lost my job. Basically, I lost my job because she did send those pictures to my job. Now, this is my question. Considering that Jasmine said this last month and considering that they were filming this last year, so she's saying that she would have lost her job either during filming or before filming. So how come Jasmine never really mentioned this on the show that she actually did lose her job? Because it doesn't sound like she's employed during the current episodes of 90 Day Fiance. So I don't know. Perhaps there's something I'm missing. You guys let me know. But something just doesn't add up here. Now, the other thing that I want to bring to you guys... Like I said, we're going to go through all of the Jasmine and Gino stuff right now. So there was something else I wanted to bring to you guys. And this comes from John Yates. John Yates had the scoop with Jasmine and uh, with Gino. So we're going to bring this up for you guys right here. There's a bunch of screenshots. So we're going to go through through them one by one. And this was the, the text exchange. And uh, I don't think that we have to go through this. We'll go to the next one. This was the one that we saw on the show. This was a different one. So this was a text exchange between um, Lindsay, Ry Lindsay Ryder and a producer where, you know, uh, Brian Spore, I, I think he was like, go. So uh, not yet. I'm waiting for her to say something. This this Lindsay supposedly said this. And then Brian says, yeah, those are what she will get mad about. She may not say anything. She might have blocked you. No, not yet. She hasn't. Send them and we can teach him a lesson. Uh, and then, so basically Brian is telling Lindsay because Lindsay, uh, I guess told Brian that she had those pictures, Brian, who, uh, supposedly was a producer with TLC is telling Lindsay to send those pictures. So you, you get a glimpse here at just how fake the show has become. Brian is trying to stir up drama on the show by telling someone that is not even involved on the show. To create drama by by sending those pictures so uh very shady uh he can say uh he stopped doing that after they started dating they probably met in a similar way that you two did uh and uh you know gino and Lindsay was a sugar daddy sugar baby relationship she'll be mortified that he actually sent you her topless and asked for an nye pic uh and told you she was sleeping while you two chatted but honestly thank you for keeping me in the loop uh, and then Lindsay goes on to uh, say that, uh, can you call me or message me? I'm legitimate, legitimately having panic attacks. And then she goes on to say that she doesn't want to appear on the show. And Brian reassures her that she will not appear on the show, not by name anyways, just uh, in the form of an ex, but without being called specifically by name. Now, there was something else that I wanted to uh, bring to you guys right here. Because as we know, Jasmine has started doing OnlyFans. So this is what she posted. Um, February 4th is uh, when Johnny Yates has this ad. So it was posted around that time. Jasmine says, no, sweetie, I'm not mad at her. I actually feel bad for her. Those chats were before I even knew about Gino's existence. She has been like a nightmare following me everywhere since she knew about the reality. I guess she's trying very hard to get fame because of the show. She has been harassing me for months. I don't know how to tell her to leave me alone. Uh, she made me lose my patience once, and that's not going to happen ever again because she can get very low. Wishing her the best with a prostitution career. 
I'm not being disrespectful, but that's how she makes a living. You can't, don't give what you don't have. And I understand this lady has no respect whatsoever for anyone in life. Maybe if you contribute with her porn videos, she will leave me alone. So those who like that stuff, go and make her happy supporting her. Because at the end of the story, that's all she wants. I just want to live in peace. And Gino then adds, she's trying to get fame from Jasmine and I being on the show because her career path led her to be a porn star. Pathetic, he says. Especially since she has two young boys. What are they going to think of her in the future? How can they be proud of a mom like this? Whoa, Gino with the massive, massive shade, uh, completely shaming uh, Lindsay Ryder. And, you know, you can have opinions about people doing porn, especially if they have kids. You know, you, you can say that probably not really the, ide the ideal business to be in uh, if you're a mom or even if you're a dad. You know, it's just weird when your, your children go to school and some of the other kids can see mommy and daddy naked doing porn. So I, I can understand that. But this is the issue that I take with this. If you go over here. This is OnlyFans, and here you have Jasmine Pineda, who is now on OnlyFans, selling very, very revealing pictures. You know, OnlyFans is basically porn, guys. It's basically the same thing. It's people selling sex or sexy pictures for money. It's literally the same thing as what Lindsay Ryder is doing. So, um... Jasmine kind of revealed to be a, a bit of a massive hypocrite right there. And uh, let's see if there is more. I, I think that that about does it. Now, there there is more, but we're not going to cover all of it in this video. The video is already getting long enough. So that is the point, guys. The Jasmine and Gino angle looks to be full of holes. And, you know, like I said, this whole working, getting fired thing. I'm not sure why it was not explained during the season when Jasmine made a point to explain it very clearly. Like I said, I showed you guys the receipts online. So you guys let me know what you make of this whole thing. I think that they are lying. That's just my opinion. Based on all the information that we have, uh, it just doesn't sound very credible. I don't get why Jasmine wouldn't uh, mention it on the show at all when she has mentioned it on the internet. So... I just wanted to bring you guys all this news about Jasmine and Gino because we're going to see more of the story play out and it's possible we're going to see Jasmine and Gino or either both or either one of them come back on a future season of 90 Day Fiance because we know that Jasmine is going to be going in the US to the US and so it's very likely that they will film that as well and we'll get to see more of them. So that's going to do it for today guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Please hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on Daily Soap Dish. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.